Bulavinaka, my name is Nunia Thomas Moko and I am a terrestrial ecologist and I specialize in herpetology which is the study of frogs, lizards and snakes. It's not everybody's cup of tea but uh, and it wasn't mine either but I, I got into it um, I think by God's will. Um, the first time that I went uh, frogging with my classmates uh, in university was on the island of uh, Viewa in Teilevu and we were supposed to catch the Fiji ground frogs um, and measure them. Uh, but, you know, I didn't want to touch frogs then, so I was chasing the frogs over to my friends so that they could catch them and do the measurements themselves. And I eventually overcame that, that fear of frogs and lizards, and, and now I, I see them as, a, as, as special animals that we should, should get to know. I can't recall the exact moment that uh, that I started developing this connection with nature. But I remember that when I was in fifth form, our religion class teacher, Sister Therese, asked us to go out and find an object or anything that we, um, that we connected with and reflect on it uh, in, ter in relation to, to God's creation. And I remember picking a yellow daisy flower. After I'd picked it, I suddenly came to the re realization that in pick picking it, I had ended its journey in praising God. I had ended its ability to, to be source of food for the other animals like the bees and the insects uh, that fed on it. And I had the audacity to come and pick and end its life simply because I found the flower pretty. And so it is that my journey, I think from that point, and my understanding of God's creation and the role that I play as a human being in looking after God's creation so that they can continue to praise God. In 2015, Pope Francis um, released the first papal encyclical dedicated to the environment, Laudato Si. And in his encyclical, he challenges us to, to care for our common home and, uh, and, and talks about the interconnectedness between us, human beings, creation, and our spirituality. And I, as I think about Fiji and the beautiful country that we live in and the plants and animals that we have, and thinking back to that flower that I picked I begin to realize that plants and animals in Fiji are special. Um, without the trees in our forests, we can't get the clean drinking water that we have in our taps. What is this relationship? If we take away all the birds and the bats that live in our forest, then we take away the capability for the plants to reproduce. Uh, the, plant, the birds and bats play a very special role. The birds, uh, like the songe and the bats, they disperse the seeds. We're not the ones planting the ndakua and the vesi in the forest. No, it's these birds. And it's the bees and all the other insects that help with pollination and fertilization. And they, they help the forest grow. And then the forest plays that important role where when the clouds come close to the forest, in the cool parts of the forest, in the mountain forests, they convert that cloud into water that then comes down, trickles down the tree trunks into the water, into the river systems, out to sea. And in some areas, we capture that water and it flows into our taps and we have access to clean drinking water. And that's the interconnectedness that we have with our environment. We have a special place here in Fiji and in the anniversary, on the occasion of the anniversary of Laudato Si, I urge us all to really think about the role that creation plays in our lives or flip it around and say, what is our role in creation in ensuring that the plants and animals around us can continue to sing their praises to God in the decisions that we make. God, breath of the spirit.